Hello family, this is Dr. Tina right here. Thank you for being here with me. Today we're doing something different, unique in our channel and it's about doing everything right. And so, like decorations, house toys, um, cooking, all this kind of stuff. But today I did um, organize my pantry and I want us to see beginning and the end and maybe you can learn something from it because all these helps with our health and seeing things not organized the way it's supposed to be affects your health emotionally and everything i was one of anytime i see my pantry i felt drained i can't even get to some things i want to get to and all that you keep on buying stuff that you have and you keep on repeating because you can't find them it's not really organized so i took upon myself as something as women or somebody professional everybody that we can do so the little we can i just want to share this remember to subscribe to my channel and share like and if you are able to share and like i have a surprise for you stay put and give any comments you want have a blessed day bye this is how the pantry looked before i started to organize it it was messy everything was in the wrong spot you could not even walk through it well i bought these two containers from home goods and it holds about 12 cups of rice and i think it's very great these are some of the containers that I got from Home Goods as well. This glass is so nice. I fed in 12 cups, and the 12 cups, the cup is not like a, a regular cup of something. This is the cup. This huge cup, 12 of them right here. So it's good. I bought it from Home Goods. It's my and I. I'm so excited about it. So this is what I did. I washed all the containers I got from Home Goods and other place such as Container Store and wipe all of them out so that there won't be any infection or any germs hidden in it before i use them so i have fridge and the pantry so i'm trying to do everything i'm going to use these papers that i got from from these they use it to wrap and then some of these i will line them i put them to line in the drawers just like i've done with this one just like that i'm gonna do it so this is the beautiful thing I love. This is going to my room, my living room. It's gonna be there to pack stuff, you know, stuff. So these are the stuff I pulled up from the bottom so you can see how this organized was. All these boxes were empty. Some of the stuff I have, I didn't even know I had um, bought them. So I think it's gonna help me by organizing these is gonna help me. So the floor, I I clean the floor and put this over there. The tape is ugly, but I will take it like that. It's a brown tape. <laughs> so I have started the first one. I have all the baskets lined up, and I'm gonna take all these out and rearrange them. Everything nicely. So let's see. So far, this is where I am right now. So I have arranged, I try to arrange it by the sizes. So, see I have two blocks of the flat, I didn't need them all. Because so I keep on buying. And that's how I did the spices. I wanted all black or all white baskets, but then I had them already. So I said, okay, forget it. Let me arrange it like that. <laughs> so, so far, that's where I am. The floor is still there. There are some stuff still up here. I'm trying to take them because I clean as I go. I still got these are some of the stuff I've taken out. I see. And I still got stuff. So I'm trying to if you have any idea too on how to arrange them, let me know. <laughs> so 
uh, I've started. <laughs> I'm almost done with this side. I have some empty baskets over there. I still got stuff to clean. This is my rice. I really, I'm really in love with this. <laughs> and my kids food. I arrange the stuff by grouping them into cans, spices, boxes. That's how I did it and it helped. Makes it beautiful and easy to find stuff. These ones, I don't want to open them. Because I don't want to misplace their directions. <laughs> so I just packed them here. And these are my baking powder, my peanut butter, my spices. Yeah, all the spices for food. And then here, I will continue some more. These are my blender. And my grater and my tin card and that's the one I'm in love with us. I saw it like tell it fresh. So I usually don't put my onions in my pantry because of the scent, but this will prevent it. So I, I decided to bring it here. This level is my serious, so I still got more to put i'm just exhausted so i'm gonna rest and then tomorrow i'll continue you can tell that i'm a tuzafi person you know i have all these conquantive tuzafi all this stuff <laughs> to make tuzafi so you can tell so i've made video about tuzafi kudos to sister um sandra for teaching me how to make my own Tears happy, so I have a video coming up, and then this this is pumpkin spice for us. So I didn't want to take it out because it's made like a whole. You can use this pack, you can use that pack. So I didn't tear it up. This is my cornflour. I've told you I'm the whole body. So <laughs> this is my sugar. I have several types of sugar. The top, I haven't arranged them, but I'll put all those tall stuff that won't fit on any of these sides. So, like my flour, then won't fit anywhere, so it has to be there. This cereal is bigger, the salt, then it's big, long, uh, tall. So, and these are my peanuts. So, uh, hopefully, I'll finish tomorrow and get to my fridge. That's the plan. So you see, I still got all these stuff. And look at the stuff I got out of this place. So much. Uh, I'm planning on where to put my oil. If you have any idea, you can share. All these. I took all these from there. See, all these. I have to clean and arrange them. Hopefully, tomorrow I'll continue. Good morning. So I woke up this morning and to continue on this job. <laughs> so far, this is where I have gotten to, and it's pretty coming along. It's not easy, but we get in there. So I got short of um, containers. The tall ones, and so I will wait till I get the rest. So, as you can see, these are tall containers, they are my old containers that I used to use, and these are old ones I use for the cereal. So, I have a lot of cereals because I have kids. And they eat as their breakfast. My man loves peanuts, so <laughs> I always keep peanuts and then the pecan nuts. It's mine. I try to stay healthy a little bit. <laughs> so, my salt I had different, different kinds of salt containers, so I decided to pour it in this, and it's very portable. That's my flour container. This one is labeled like that. I got that from Home Goods. These are my old party stuff. 
it's leftovers and I still catch them. It's been years but it's still good. So and it's new, so I can use it anytime I have a party or some sort of things going on. And then these baskets contains cookies. Because I don't want it to be soft and my tight containers I want to use them for the fridge so I cut this and put that here so this contains my chocolate um some cocoa or porridge and uh, I have this cookies vanilla cookies we don't eat that often so I try to keep them in there and so all these are my series the bag I have my cocoa for morning breakfast and all that I don't drink that often once in a while so I try to keep that in the bag and my Theosophy flour oh my god I don't know why I love this um, kind of food it's a Ghanaian dish from the north. I really love it. We we prepare with um, okra and other stuff, which I have made a video about it. I'll post it. So this is Teosophy corn rice and flour. This one you can prepare with that by itself without adding any other stuff. And I have conconte or cassava flour. That one goes with the corn flour. And so I prepare with both. And then I have my pumpkin spice flour. This is sugar. This is the granulated one. And this is powdered sugar. I usually don't eat it often. I don't really eat sugar by itself often. And I have a brown sugar in this one. This container, I really love it. Because it's huge. 12 cups and the cups is not even a regular cup it's just a big one 12 cups in each so when you buy that bag of rice you can get containers like this to make it look cute and pour it in i have this um to prepare my nigerian dish agushi <laughs> and then i have the dry pepper um shuttle or some stuff like that you need this to make it spicy this is my gary and so um i put this one in here things that i'm able to tell i did not label but something like the sugar you see how different it looks it looks like a flour or something my flour is out though but you see it looks like flour so you have to label it to see and so that you will mistake them so make sure you label them i have my date my date i try to stay off sugar so if i prepare something and i really want sugar i just put some in like smoothie or something put a little bit these are the cookies for the kids they don't really love this kind i think it's too sweet for them but the other kind they really love so that one is out over here i have my grated and i have my tin cutter i have my measuring cups as you can see i have a lot of measuring cups all these are measuring cups measuring cups so i have a lot of measuring cups over here i have my foil um really not foil i think i got this from sums heavy duty and i have this plastic one as you can see i love you who and you can wrap with this or you can cover your food with that it says film roll for food and take this out so that i can see you i have one but i don't know where i put it so now that i'm organized I will know that I have some so that I won't go by. This is my spaghetti, the tiny ones. It's called rice vermicelli or something. I got it from Hong Kong Market. So I put that here. My spaghetti is finished. So the spaghetti container, I kept it. So when my spaghetti comes, then I put it here. So I'll set that one up here other containers i will need and uh, so uh, 
if you want to give me gifts, maybe I will need organizers. <laughs> it's um, the organizers are expensive when you go to the container store. I got some organizers for the fridge and they were costly, but I went to Home Goods and I found out it's cheaper because all these, I think this one was about eight dollars and these ones are new i got them i think seven dollars and some six dollars so those are good this i think is 12. if you get the set i think it's okay and i shout out to my friend um mrs juliet ajaman got me some containers a set of eight i these ones and i really love them I really love, 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 love them. So, they were a set of eight. I think it was one of them. Mm -hmm. So, and then I'm here, right? So, I usually try to eat healthy. Oh, man. Try. <laughs> and so, I picked up some oils that are good. So this is avocado oil. I use it for uh, baking something like my fish and some salad stuff if I want to bake the salad or the vegetables. I have my extra virgin, extra virgin olive oil. These are olive oils. And I have my... My apple cider vinegar over here. Um, so usually people bring that for losing weight. In the morning, you got your lemon in hot water. You can put a little bit of the uh, vinegar in there, and that helps. This container, I'm in love with this container because I use not to keep my onions in my pantry because of the scent it gives so i always kept it in the garage which wasn't also safe and so getting this container i think i got this from home goods and it was cheap and so as soon as i saw it i just picked it and i'm so glad i don't even smell the onion so it's a tight lid this basket, of course, contains my bottles for the kids and they come from school. Usually they eat that. Um, they love fufu too. <laughs> but usually they like the because this one is on the go. And I try to package or pack my, my stuff by grouping them. So I have cans. With these levels, I try to group them according to the levels and the sizes. I have my mortar pen here for spicy thing crushing extras of my um, utensils. And over here, I put that over there because we usually don't use it. I have cinnamon in there. I have a leptin also in there. And I have... Um, chewing steak in Africa, we use chewing steak to brush our teeth. <laughs> I have that too over there, and over here, I do have these uh, glad stuff over here um, for wrapping vegetables and fruits and all that. I usually don't like those, okay? I like this one, the film, and then this one. But I got that, so I don't want to throw it away. This is my pizza. We're trying to make pizza at home. <laughs> and so I got pizza stuff over here. And once a while, I do make lasagna. My kids love it. And the way I do it is a little bit different because I do it the way I want it to be tested. So that's different. So I pack all those ends in a basket to make it look cute and portable. So that's what I did. And over here, I do have my baking powder. I have my 
thing that we do is prepare Ghanaians food. Uh, we do prepare peanut soup or granite soup as we used to say. And so I usually have the paste with the, or the butter one. And as you can see, I have a bunch. <laughs> Okay, this one is all, almost out, so I'm gonna put that one forward over here and put the other one. And I'll put this back. And this is my spice. This one will go wrong with it. We use it to prepare everything. You can pick up the meat one, you can pick up this one. Usually pick up from Sons or Hong Kong markets. This one is my um auntie my mama my brother-in-law's wife that gave it and i still kept it because it doesn't expire this one when you prepare the whole or okra soup or something you can put some in and it makes it slippery slimy very nice and so those are the stuff yes and then my spices i try to pack all the spices and if i want to pick up then i'll be able to pick up so easily so over here i have my kenyan pepper if you watch the vegetable juice you see i pour some of this in i have this rosemary the dry ones curry powder i have a lot of curry powder so you can see that's one hiding over there i have fried rice spice this one if you want to make fried rice and i have this parsley flakes and i have my cornstarch i have this for spaghetti and rosemary leaves again and then Crushed red pepper for shito. If you want to make shito, that this um the pepper sticks out, you use this one. And then I have my black pepper hiding over there, and like I said, curry powder in here. And then I have my bay leaves. So all these things are my spices. Okay, so the kids love to eat chips. I don't know why. So these are the extra chips I have, so I pack them in here. These are my cans too. I usually don't eat canned food, but I try to pick up this to see, to test to see. I think it's been so. I try to prepare it in one time or the other. And these ones, my kids eat pancakes and waffles a lot. It's just switch off and on though. Sometimes they will like it, sometimes no. I cold cut through when I was making it. Okay, so they like pancakes, waffles, but it's switched on and off anyway. <laughs> so I try to keep this, and the good thing about this is you can keep it off the fridge, so it's good. But when it's open, I try to put it in the fridge, but you don't have to. So I like this kind, Aunt Jemima original one. And so, and these are the tomato sauces. I think I'm out of paste. Um, there's a straw basket or hiding over there. I'm going to put stuff in there. As you can see, I'm a Ghanaian, so we usually have fufu in the house. I don't eat fufu often. I love fufu, but I don't eat it often. So the whole of last year, I ate probably two times, but my mom loves the fufu. So I try to buy fufu. So I package this fufu over here. This rice, I love this rice, it's organic and it's brown rice, so sometimes when I'm like eating or I'm trying to eat some rice and I want it pressed, I don't want to eat white rice because we don't have the white rice, as you can see, we have that, and so I try to buy this one, and they go, I just pick and put vegetables in there and eat. So probably my um, popcorns, I was packing those. We are out of the popcorn. My popcorn just go like that. They really love it when they come from school, especially the middle one. She loves it. So I, I'll package them in there when, it's, when I buy a new one. These ones are extra cans and spices. This is for cakes and all that kind of stuff. And this thing, this thing 
is the secret that everybody asks me. Um, so when somebody is having occasion or something, they usually ask me to prepare pepe. Pepe, just pepe. Grinding pepe. And this is the secret in there. Everybody loves my pepe, so they usually request it when they're having funerals, parties, nanny ceremonies, all the time. They request for me to make it because they say my pepper tastes so perfect. But this is a secret, and I learned this secret from Emilia, Sister Emilia. Oh, so I learned that from her. So, as you can see, my man likes um, pepper much, so we usually grind pepper and put it in the fridge for him. So, I usually have this with me, and of course, you put a lot of stuff in it. This is uh, Jalof. For jollof rice spice um i usually don't use it but when you put it in it makes the color is perfect but i usually don't use that i picked this to try to see just curious so i haven't used it yet and this extra beans i have red gold and classico <laughs> and so i picked this one um, for spaghetti to see i usually don't use it but i pick it up to try and see this is my yeast fast rice yeast in case i prepare anything i usually prepare um banana bread but i don't put anything like that in but if i want to try bread or something this all purple stuff is really good pick up the green carrots this is um black pepper extra black pepper this is my nutmeg and these are extra um bay leaves And this is turmeric, as you can see. I've used this for my vegetable smoothie before. And of course, hmm, this is for shito. You can get a shrimp one or you can get a dry fish. This one is fermented fish powder. So we prepare shito at home sometimes. You, know, you can use that. This is extra things we have. Extra natural cocoa. I think this one is from Ghana. And I have my organic honey. So I use this uh, for whenever I put lemon in water and ginger or I have a cold or something. I put some of this in. So I usually have that. Um, this one, I don't know what exactly it is. So I just think I just picked it up from the store. It says water dispenser filter or something. And then on. Um, I have my coconut oil and this oil. <laughs> this is for the other side. You can see I have full one of them. So, my dear, what I prepared, you will know how I use that. And so, and these are my stuff that I use if I are going for a picnic or something. Or if I'm taking food somewhere and giving it to somebody, I can put it in here. I'm going to just pack it stuff in here. This, what's actual, I bought them for the Christmas or Thanksgiving. I forgot to use them. <laughs> okay, so pancake flour. I bought this and I forgot that I have this. And I bought another one, so I'm going to take that to donate in Ghana. This is my, the most oil we use. For cooking as for these so as you can see i have a lot of those there were some i bought to take to ghana and by the time i realized we had opened them <laughs> okay so i have this i bought this um occasion to use it i think during the christmas or stuff like that yeah, i never had a chance to use it and as you can see i have these um noodles i have some in the garage and these are the tomatoes I usually use crushed tomatoes for preparing um, stews and um, good stuff. So, so far, that's where I am. So, at the end, I will let you know what it's all about. So, and I have the fridge to. to um, clean up and organize. Hopefully, I did good. My mom said, Wow, who buried your mom last night? So that means I did good. <laughs> so, this, this is how it looks. So, 
it takes time and patience because all these you have to clean them last night you have to clean all of them it was top and wipe all of them and then clean with wipes some stuff and all that so 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 far everything now you can walk in here i'm not trying to put anything in the way so we'll be able to walk in and grab stuff so as you can see the floor i've even packed them under the shelves and that's how i want it to be maybe if i get somebody it will put a lot of line over there and i can use a ladder to put stuff there S stuff that i don't go for often hope you enjoyed this is girl dog tina remember to subscribe to my channel thank you have a good day hello family thank you for watching this video to the end there's a twist to this post if you are able to organize your pantry and take a picture and send it through my email i will link my email below and you will get 50 dollars good luck